all right guys so um i just wanted to touch on a couple of things um i know everybody's asking about rotating your stock so this is what this is an example of how i would rotate my stock um and i do this every couple of months uh to make sure that i don't ever have any food wastage so first in first out is the method that you need to use the first stuff that you put in needs to go on the top and the new stuff needs to go on the bottom. That way your newest dates are on the bottom. Your oldest dates are at the top because you know it's just natural to, to grab from the top. So all of my old stuff will be, you know, it'll be old and then new. So that's how I make sure that I rotate my stock. And I do this with everything, even my vacuum seal bags, all of my canned goods. Um, this stuff I don't really much worry about because it has a huge, very long um, shelf life. But, you know, just first in, first out. And I always make sure that I keep a little, um, you know, booklet or, or some type of way to keep track of everything um, when I add stuff in. So that way I know um, what's coming up on dates. All I have to do is look at the book and it'll tell me like, oh, well, this potted meat's coming up on a date. So I need to, you know, get the potted meat or whatever. But always, always, always keep the older dates on top and keep the newer dates on the bottom. And that's how you'll rotate your stock.